Hello, and welcome to our quick lecture on the Soil Microbiology Lab. Uh, we look at soil because we are, this is an environmental microbiology uh, type of experiment, and we look to soil to discover uh, some really important organisms known as actinomycetes. Now, actinomycetes are a class of bacteria that are only found in soil. As a matter of fact, actin actinomycetes are what gives soil its smell. Uh, if you ever smell like fresh, overturned dirt, uh, that smell, that, that uh, kind of musty, earthy type smell, that's actually due to the presence of actinomycetes. But in addition to the actinomycete bacteria, uh, soil also contains a really diverse and rich population of different microorganisms. And these include lots of different fungi, bacteria, and of course, um, I'm sorry, this should say actinomycetes. And this, uh, this broad uh, uh, population of bacteria are important for us because majority of the antibiotics that we, we have that are naturally occurring antibiotics actually come from soil bacteria, such as actinomycetes. We also, of course, get some, some from fungi like uh, penicillin and such. And when we grow this um, soil, when we look to observe the diversity of microorganisms found in soil, we use three primary uh, media. The first is the saborodextrose media. We call this sabdex for short in the lab. And saborodextrose has um, a little more alkaline of a pH. It's very rich in carbohydrates, uh, fungi like those carbohydrates. So it's really used to promote and enrich for the growth of fungus and yeast. The next media that we use is the nutrient agar. And nutrient agar is a little more protein rich and a little bit more acidic than the sabdex. The acidity will alter or prevent, I should say, should inhibit the growth of fungus while allowing the growth of bacteria. And then the high protein and carbohydrate content will also further promote the growth of bacteria. The last is our glycerol yeast extract. Uh, we often refer to this as GYE uh, media. And GYE is used to promote the growth of actinomycetes. That's what we see over here on the right. And actinomycetes in particular really like glycerol. So we um, add the glycerol to enrich the media and promote the growth of actinomycetes. You'll often see a little bit of yeast also growing in the GYE, and sometimes we even uh, will see uh, some bacteria. So this plate here on the right has a lot of actinomycetes on it. Here's one right here. We have another here and here. Um, actinomycetes are very often mistaken for fungus. They are not mold or fungus. They're actually bacteria. But when they grow on the agar, they are very uh, fuzzy looking, almost like a little drops of powdered sugar. So in the soil microbe experiment, we add soil to a peptone solution in order to release the bacteria and fungi, the yeast and such, in order to get these organisms off the grains of sand that actually make up earth or dirt. And uh, we allow it to soak, we shake it really well and allow it to sit for a few minutes. And then we carry out a serial dilution up to about 10 to the negative five. And this simple dilution is because the number of microorganisms in soil is so uh, intense. I mean, it's just really huge. And if we went directly from soil to plate, we would have a really hard time distinguishing many of the different microorganisms. So here in this uh, picture over here, once we've made our dilutions, by the way, we would then mix the dilutions with molten agar in the plates, and we would spread these um, on, on the plates in order to promote the growth of both um, aerobic and anaerobic bacteria. So here on this plate here, you can see there's a lot of different things labeled. Here's penicillium, which is a mold. We have another mold here. Here's bacteria. They're showing you a yeast. And then here are some actinomycetes. We have an actinomycete here. Looks like another one here. This actually looks like a yeast. Um, we have another yeast right there. And uh, looks like this is another actinomycete. This would be a mold. So in this particular experiment, we just want to, um, want to address and be able to recognize the diversity of microorganisms in soil and be able to label or distinguish uh, yeast, which is a single-celled uh, uh, fungus, mold, oops, there we go, uh, bacteria, and actinomycetes. 
Uh, the molds, I think you'll be able to recognize fairly easy, right? You can see the hyphae and they're fuzzy, usually uh, dark colors. Yeast are kind of greasy looking. Um, they're very shiny uh, uh, and they don't usually have color. They're usually a creamy color, but here they look like they're a little pink. Uh, bacteria can be all kinds of different colors. They too oftentimes are very shiny. And then we have the actinomyces, which are very uh, um, mat matted and uh, fuzzy, kind of like look like powdery. They're very powdery looking. So all you'll need to do in the soil microbe experiment is know the three different media are, that are used, what they are used to promote the growth of, and be able to recognize the four different um, types of organisms that we look for in uh, soil populations. Good luck on your exam.